Hey everybody, today I just wanted to do a quick kind of little intro into customizing controls in LabVIEW. Um, so if you didn't know, through LabVIEW you can create custom controls. So these can be things like buttons, they could be graphs, they could be you know, gauges, meters, numeric displays, etc. Um, so I wanted to do kind of a brief intro on how we can customize these controls. Planning on doing some more, more in-depth specific stuff on specific types of controls as well going forward. So first, we're going to need to go select a new file. Um, from our new file, we can select custom control. So now we basically just get this. It's just a front panel, um, and we can go place controls on it. So we can select whatever control we want and drop it down. So whatever control you drop down, this is going to be your starting point. So you can select any style. It could be even stuff from you know third uh, from third parties, from VIPM, etc. Uh, basically, whatever you drop down is going to be your starting place. So from here, you're going to be updating this control however you want. Um, so there's kind of two modes to this. There's this little wrench. So if I click the wrench, it puts it in customize mode. If I click this back, it goes to edit mode. So in edit mode, I can kind of do basic stuff that I could do anywhere. In customize mode, though, you can see it's highlighted different sections of this control and then I can go in and customize individual sections um, and different types of objects have different things that you can do with them so for example this little pointer here I can right click on this um, and I can import pictures so let's import from file um, let's go here and I have just this airplane image so I've just replaced the image and I now have an airplane for my slider. So, and it could be anything, right? I could place any image. I could um, find an image of a pointer that I, that I think looks really nice, or you can also go and create your own. So the, the nicest looking UIs can take a lot of effort to really get customized. Um, and the more capable you are at kind of graphic design and being able to generate um, those things exactly how you want, the more capable you're gonna be. Um, but yeah, that's one way, you know, you can do simple stuff and, you know, I can go in, I can view properties, right? So if I want this to maybe fill red, you know, um, and then I can just save this control. And then when I drop this control down onto another, uh, front panel, um, it'll be customized how I've specified. So, and I can do way more than that. I can add, you know, custom backgrounds. So as you can see here, I can import files to represent the actual sliders portion, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot that I can do, even in terms of like fonts and colors and whatnot. So that's kind of a basic um, how to update that. Um, just wanted to show, well, with like a button, what we can do. So I've dropped this button down. Let's go enter customize mode. And I'm gonna do import from file at same size. So let's do, this guy sweet so now you can see I've imported this um, in one state so in the false state this is implemented on the true state it's not though so I still have my old uh, button there so we can fix that um, let's actually switch to the on state and I can right click on this import from file the same size and I can select that so let's exit out so you can see now I have an off and an on. But if you notice, when I click this, there is still a moment where it's transitioning and showing the old button. So we can fix that as well. Um, so if I right click on this and go to picture item, I can actually see all of the different states. So this would be my off state. This would be my on state. Um, and these two uh, are linked to mouse down and transitioning. So. Um, I can fix all of those. So let's go to this state and I'm going to import a picture of the icon off. And then let's go to this last state and I'm going to import a picture of the icon being on. So now let's close out of this. Now, as you see, as I click this, I get the behavior I want, right? The button's either lit up or not. Um, and I can also go in, I can specify, you know, text, um, on and off, sweet. 
So yeah, I can do whatever I want. I can save this as a control and then I can drop this down on my different diagrams and stuff. So that's kind of the foundation for how you can customize controls. Like I said, um, this can take a decent amount of effort. Um, you know, finding the images or creating the images, um, you know, laying all this out just right, etc. Does take a decent amount of effort, but this yeah, I think really sets the difference, you know, between like a basic LabVIEW application and something that looks very professional. So um, I think it's worth the time to invest in, yeah, you know, create, customizing your UI some. Um, and obviously, there's a learning curve as well. The better you get at this, the faster you can create your custom controls. And once you've created these, you can 100% reuse them across different projects and whatnot, etc. So um, if you're interested in customizing controls, have some more videos coming forward um, that will go a little bit deeper dive into this. Just wanted to basically do the foundation on, hey, if I want to create a custom control, how do I start? So um, go ahead, show you, you can drop any control here, you know, use it as your framework, your starting point. And then from there you can customize pictures, etc. If I have a gauge, for example, right, I can change the gauge background uh, with the image of a different gauge that I found. So maybe I found like an image of a fuel gauge um, and I can replace my meter with that fuel gauge, you know, so it looks like a fuel gauge. So stuff like that. So um, that would be how you can customize controls in LabVIEW. Um, hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.